Hello guys and welcome back to the Dr. McCar channel and today what I'm going to show you is how to diagnose an engine misfire on your vehicle. Now this guide is completely free for you to do it doesn't cost you anything to do some of your own investigation so make sure to follow this video and do not skip because all of this is going to be useful to you. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and without further ado let's get into this. Alright guys so this specific engine is a four cylinder engine. If you follow your air intake system all the way here and all the way here, that goes to your intake planner and that goes in to where your cylinder head is. Now the cylinder head is here and your spark plugs are mounted onto the cylinder head. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to unscrew this one. And this is just a 10 millimeter socket. And then we just need to remove this cover. All right, guys, so this is your ignition coil and this is your ignition wire. So what happens is this one is actually plugged in and what you're gonna do is squeeze this pinch clip and then pull out and that's your ignition wire. So this is what you call your ignition coil. And then what we're gonna do is get this one unscrewed. It's a 10 millimeter as well. So this engine is going to have a misfire. So I've purposely done this to show you what a misfire looks like and how you can actually diagnose it yourself. So I'm gonna start the engine and we're gonna see what happens. So as you can see, the engine is vibrating. It's actually running on only three cylinders right now. So I'm going to turn off the vehicle now. Basically what I've done is I've mimicked an issue with cylinder number one. So what you got to do and remember is you got air, spark and fuel. So first thing to do is check that your air intake system doesn't have any leaks with all the hoses. Once you've determined that issue, check your mass airflow sensor. But if at all this one is specific to a cylinder, then it's most likely going to lie here. Now what we're going to do is check for any trouble codes with the car. All right guys, as you can see, now what I've got here is a P0351. Now what if there's some sort of misfire in cylinder number one? You'll get a P0301 code and that means that cylinder number one is experiencing a misfire and is now running on only three cylinders. You need to pull out the ignition coil like so and what you're going to do is first test the ignition coil. So let's say we did have a P0301. So that's cylinder number one. P0300 is a random misfire. So it can be caused by anything causing all cylinders to compensate. Now, if it's a P0301, it's just this cylinder. And what you're going to do first is determine if the ignition coil is faulty. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take ignition coil number one and put it into ignition coil number two and ignition coil number two into one. Now, if you get a P0302, that means it's now moved to th this one. And that means that your ignition coil is actually faulty. Now, if that doesn't move, then it is most likely that it's your spark plug, which is the issue, or it's actually the fuel injector, which is the problem. And that's causing the misfire. So this is the spark plug for cylinder number one. And I'm going to undo it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take my magnetic spark plug socket. All right, and there you go. You have got your IFR 6T11 NGK iRadiums. So now what you're going to do is you're going to inspect the tip of this plug between the electrode. And if it's frosty white, that means it's running too rich and it's burnt by fuel. And you've got to check the gap as well. Now there's spark plug gapping tools out there, which you can check. You can actually put it in between and check that it meets the specification. But these spark plugs are relatively cheap to get. So if I were you, I would invest in replacing the spark plugs. All right, guys, so that's how you remove a spark plug. And I'm going to put this one back in now. Okay, and then you, there you go. So it's 25 Newton meters. You need to make sure that whenever you do it, it is within specification 
If not, then your engine may run quite poorly. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the ignition coil back in, make sure it seats properly. And then you wanna sit this one back in. You're gonna plug the ignition coil back in. Now with 252,000 kilometers, this ignition system has gone actually quite crispy. Oh man. We're going to start the vehicle up. All right, guys, and that's how you diagnose an engine misfire on your vehicle. Now, this is just the early steps that you can do without having any special tools. Now, it could be even your oxygen sensor, which is this one right here. However, for most users who do not know much about cars, the best place to start is this area first. This is your own fact finding before you give your money to the mechanic. All right, guys, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I hope this video has been useful and informative. Hit that like button, subscribe, and also share with your friends. And comment down below, did this video actually help you? What vehicle you had and what your results were?